Ecclesiasticus 25, 7. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue, a man that have the joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. Call Halal Yahweh by Shem Shai by Shem Kadash. Double honors unto the apostles, double honors to the elder bishops, salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever to the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth that be among the heathen nations that look like the heathens and to the Aquath that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago and um, my lesson isn't going to be about the fall of the enemy. <laughs> it's going to be more edification. Hold on, let me... Uh, Close this blind, block out some of this light. There we go. I was uh, enjoying uh, edification from from the elder Yashawamba on the. Uh, and he has a, a video up. And this is on the remnant saved 144 bar. So please don't ask me to post a video when I, I, I you know, that's kind of aggravating. I say the name of the video, the name of who did it. And then someone will still come on the comment board and ask for it. And it's like, if you watch the video, you'll know that. So it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, so the elders channel, this particular channel is remnant saved 144 bar. All right. 144 BA Ba. Okay. And it's called Theodore Roosevelt Statue Removed. Um, in parentheses, the Red Horse. All right. So I just gave you the title and the channel. All right. So let's get to it. Um, I was reading in Ecclesiastes, and um, and it's amazing how much the precepts uh line up, you know, through the scriptures it says uh Matter of fact, let me go to Psalms 119 and uh, 90, I believe, 90. Psalms 119 and 90, yeah. No, not 119 and 90, but um, 119 and 104. And it says, through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. Let's jump to 173. Psalms 119, 173. Let thine help, let thine hand help me, for I have chosen thy precepts. So through the precepts, we get understanding. And through precepts, you prove all things and prove solid and sound doctrine. And, and what I'm going to uh, prove real quickly is the fact that Solomon indeed was the son of David, all right, and, um, and more, all right? So uh, this, this is us, uh, Sirach, I mean, I'm sorry, Ecclesiastes, not Sirach. The first chapter, and it reads, The words of the preacher, the son of David, king in Jerusalem. All right, and then it gives me Proverbs 1 and 1 as a precept in my Bible. So let's turn to Proverbs uh, 1 and 1, which is the book before. And it reads, The Proverbs of Solomon, son of David, king of Israel. All right. Now, <laughs> now check this out. It's telling you, proverb, the proverb of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel. Well, there's a reason why people, the Israelites, not just any people, but the people were referring to to uh, uh, um, Yahweh Shai as the son of David. Let's go to Matthew one and one. Right. 
Let's go to Matthew 1 and 1. And it reads, The book of the generation of Yahabashai Hamashiach, the son of David, the son of Abraham. <laughs> Man, this is so brutal, brutally cold. All right, so Yahawashah came in the flesh as Isaac, and then he came in the flesh as Solomon. And it's telling you right there in Ecclesiastes 1 and 1 and Proverbs 1 and 1. All right, let me go to Jeremiah 25 and 3. Or 23 and 5, Salakia. Jeremiah 23 and 5. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, I will raise unto, unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. So who was that righteous king first? That well, he was he was Solomon first. All right? The wisest king that ever lived and said that this whole life is vanity. The whole uh, 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 Proverbs 2 and, 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 and Ecclesiastes, the second chapter, is all about vanity. All the work, all, this, all, the, all the houses, the power, the gold, the women, the wives, the success is all vanity until the kingdom of heaven is set up. Because you're going to die and leave it to another that may not be worthy or didn't even earn it or even worthy of it. You can't take anything with you. But see, once the kingdom of heaven comes, death has been conquered. So now we know why, why Solomon said what he said. But let's go back to that Ecclesiastes and see what else comes out of that, those very first few uh, scriptures in Ecclesiastes uh, first chapter. This is verse 2. Vanity of a vanities, vanity of vanities, saith the preacher, Vanity of vanities, all is vanity. What profit have a man of all his labor which he taketh under the sun? One generation passeth away, and another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. So, you know, so there's no end to all the people. You know, you just keep regenerating. That's, you know, that's why we just read the preach that, so we, that we read. You, you die, you don't go to hell forever and ever and ever. You don't go to heaven forever and ever and ever. You go to the spirit world, as the Bible says, and you rest until the third or fourth generation, and the Lord sends you right back. That's the way it works. All right? I was watching some video where the, one of the preppers was showing you all the things that's going on, on over there that the American media is ignoring about World War III and all the fighting and all the, the setups and the craziness that's happening over there and how American media is ignoring it or downplaying it. And um, and he's telling everybody that the you know and the, and the Christians on the comic board, you Christians are just lost, man. You pathetically lost. You know, talking about the rapture is here. One guy saying oh, Obama was the Antichrist, not not Trump. And I'm like, man, the Antichrist is a system of things, not one person, man. And then Obama is a non-factor. He's he's a nothing at this point. He has no political authority or, or, or say so. But these people are just lost, man, lost in the sauce. All right. And it says one generation passeth away and another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. So the earth is here for all time, from one generation to the next, even after World War Three, there will be devastation across the globe. America will be completely wiped, wiped off the face of the earth. All right. There will be no more life here except for desert creatures, according to the Bible. And the land of Israel is going to be purged and purified of everyone that's there so that the true children of Israel can all come back, all 12 tribes. All right. All, so and then the world is going to be healed after that. And there's going to be a thousand year uh, uh, reconstruction time where all the nations are going to have to build up the kingdom of heaven for the Israelites in Jerusalem, in Israel. All the 12 tribes are going to go back to their original lands. All nations are going to go back to their original lands. All right, so all those pale people in Europe are going to have to leave. 
All right. Well, basically all the pale people that are actually Edomites, because you have some pale people that are Israelites and other heathen because of mixing. Remember, your identity is through the seed of your father. So it doesn't matter what you look like. So this isn't a color thing like people like to make it. This is a seed line thing. All right. A heritage thing. And someone can be in your heritage that looks absolutely nothing about like you because they come from the same lineage your father came from. It's as simple as that. Why that's so confusing? I have confusing to some small brain people out there. I have no idea. All right. Uh, verse five in Ecclesiastes uh, one and five. The sun also ariseth and the sun goeth down and hasten in his place where it arose, which proves that. If you're looking at a ball, if you're holding a ball in your hand, just in your hand, guess what? You can't see the other side of that ball. So when it's daylight on one side of the planet, it's night on the other side. That's why all European flights, if you understand, if you've ever flown to Europe that way in the world, all European flights um, take from leaving America leave at night. All right, so that you be so you sleep most of the night, and by the time you get there, you're there in the morning, and it's daylight. You see how that works? When it's daylight in in, in London, is is night in America. All right. When you get to Europe, and it's and it's early morning sun coming up in Europe, the sun is down in America because it's on the other side of the world. All right. Point blank, period. Same thing if you go to Jerusalem. And it says. Matter of fact, let me get a precept in Psalms. Uh, Psalms 19 and. Uh, and. Uh, verse four through six, let's grab that. Reading is fundamental. Probably the only thing that was said that was ever said in the American fool system, fool system. That's that was actually correct. But this is uh, Psalms one nineteen four and six. I mean nineteen four and six, and it reads, "Their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them have he set the tabernacle for the sun." All right. <clears throat> And, and then it says, uh, and then it, I have a precept for for uh, Romans 10 and, and 18, and it's a measuring line. See, the sun is a measuring line. Um, which is the bridegroom coming out of the chamber and rejoice as a strong man to run the race. He's gone forth. He is going forth. It's from the end of heaven and the circuit until the end of it, and there is none hid from the heat thereof. All right, a circuit is a circle. All right, that's a circle. The earth is a circle, and, a, and not, not that that's, you know, important to salvation, but for truth's sake, it is important. All right, because I'm not going to argue with someone who believes that the world is flat. But I've just found it amazing that this because this that has been an issue amongst Israel and even in the so-called scientific community, all right. Because if the Earth was flat, it would be daylight at the same time all over the, all over the whole world. That makes and that that's that's impossible. Um, back to Ecclesiastes, it says uh, verse six. It says the wind goeth toward the south and turneth about unto the north. It whirl whirleth about continually right so the so the wind goes in a circle it heads south and comes back around again all right and it says the wind returns again according to its circuits all right all the rivers run into the sea yet the sea is not full unto the place from whence the rivers come they return again everything's moving in a circle man circle of life hell you learn that in the lion king so with that, I'm going to give all praises, all honor and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakaq, Wa, Ababa, Ba, Kwam, Yasharala, Shalom.